are you today? Hi, Jackie. I'm coming out. I'm coming out too. Look at us. You know, phase two is starting in New Jersey on Monday. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not rushing, but just knowing it's there feels good. What about you? I've been so happy. First of all, just even the sun is shining. Well, maybe not today in New Jersey, but the sunshine, the weather's been amazing. I'm seeing, I'm, you know, I'm seeing more people, more friends, you know, down the street. I'm doing more social meals, let's just say, from a distance with more friends, seeing more family. Um, yeah, there is like, there's like, I feel like, you know, there's a new, there, there's something new coming about. There is something like there's like a joy within me right now that um, I didn't have before when we were stuck in COVID, even though I tried to release and I, and I offered different anxiety releasing tools, but it's all, it's all new right now. And you know what? We're human. And I have to say, it's so funny, Susan, because up until two years ago, we didn't know each other. And it's so interesting that, you know, how things happen for us and they're so parallel we don't even talk about it and all of a sudden like one day we're both sad then the next day or a couple days later we're both back on a course of positivity and getting rid of like again the cloud lifting for me and i'm going to ask you is like all of a sudden i'm really motivated again and i'm getting my schedule back and i'm literally focusing and trying new things and working on my business and the family relationships and social distancing dinners with one couple that I know has been safe on my balcony or in their yard and just feels good though. I like being home too. So it's the new blend for me. What about you? Yeah, me too. You know what, you know, what I've done for myself was what I do for my clients. I started to hold myself accountable. I said, something has to change. I wasn't happy. I was feeling sad. And I said, that's it. And I started getting myself this check off, check off list, you know, mm -hmm. thing, just even getting up first thing to do is have a, have a cup of water to start with, um, with a little lemon in it. Right. Um, get out, make my bed right away rather than lounge around and waste time on my phone. Doing my sun salutations right away, get that stretch in, a short one, little one and then have a healthy breakfast and then go for walks. And then, you know, so, and I started um, taking an online course to get certified in something new right. and, and still connecting with my family. And now that, you know, it's, it's, it's been so beautiful outside, my family also is dispersed a little bit more and we still come back together, but it's, we're not on top of each other, which has created healthy boundaries. So, um, yeah, I'm changing this, my whole being, you know, and I am very grateful and I'm meeting new people um, through, uh, you know, through networking. And a lot of them are so inspirational and a lot of wonderful connections. And you know what? I'm coming out. I'm feeling yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. I couldn't be happier for you. I really, I'm so thrilled and I see it in you and I feel it. And, and I dropped a few pounds, started already. <laughs> I know, I know. And you look it, actually, I see it in your face. Well, that, I think I'll need a facelift for that part. But <laughs> right? A little bit of here and a little bit there. But I totally get it. Like you, all of a sudden I woke up and it was like, oh my goodness, like, I'm starting to really think about relationships that have been dragging me down and I've allowed it because I've been in a bit of a slump, probably like a lot of people out there. And now it's like, like you said, Marie Kondoing a lot of things, yes. you know, and, and, and I'm getting stuff off my phone. It was just so much easier when I was home doing nothing because I couldn't get out. Now it's like, wow, I'm like a free woman. You're breaking loose. Like I go to my, I go to my husband's office. I work. I'm very focused. It's a whole different animal. I was that person. I lost it and I'm getting it back and it feels good. And I'm sure a lot of people that are watching have had the same things as us because I, I hear it from my clients. Right. I hear they've gone through the blahs. They've gone through the heartache and they're, they're getting back into the program of I'm in charge. What I tell my brain is what I focus on. 
taking those small steps. And it, it's, it's kind of a cool thing yeah. to watch you for me to watch you for me and my clients. And um, it's wonderful. We're coming out, guys. Everybody. Yeah, you know what? I, the whole idea of decluttering, I mean, I am going to every day spend like 15 to 20 minutes on one drawer, one shelf, something. And I'm just getting rid of things, giving them away or throwing them out. Like, you know, um, but I truly, truly believe that somebody who is not focused, who can't figure out what they want to do in life, where they want to go. You know, when I have clients like them, I ask them to draw me their closet. Right. Mm, and if like it's a messy closet, it's mm. a metaphor for their mind. Totally. Yes. So, you know, and it's kind of like if, you're, if your closet isn't a mess or you have too much stuff, it's very hard to find that particular scarf, let's say, you're looking for. But when things are orderly and there are less things there, it's so much easier to find what you're looking for. Again, metaphorically speaking. And so not metaphorically, it's real. It's true. It's energetically speaking yeah. too, energetically. So yeah, so if you don't know what you're looking for, start off with your closets and your drawers because it actually helped me too. Uh, walking helped me. Walking with my, with my daughters, with my friends has been very therapeutic for my body and eating right has been very therapeutic for my body. For my mind, it's been yoga and, and meditation, journaling, being grateful, writing my gratitudes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I've been taking courses, so I'm learning again connecting with people and uh, you know and just keeping myself calm i i have to tell you it's been a long time i've been sleeping through the night and it's been a long time since i've been doing that especially during our i know shift and like the comfort food <laughs> so oh, i get it i get it i hear you i hear you so i'm thrilled and i'm glad you got to share this with everybody it yeah. helped inspire someone else out there. I hope so. I hope what we do inspires. And if anybody's, if we can inspire you in any way, please reach out to us. If you have a, a daily habit that you think inspired you that you'd like to share, if there's an app, I mean, I started using this app called Fabulous and that got me on track. And I do my little checkoff list of what I need to do. And then I have my fitness pal, which helps me with my food intake because journaling, as you know, gives you brings your subconscious to the conscious kind of like drawing so journaling your food intake journaling checking off your list um writing your emotions feeling it just know where you are just journaling and vomiting on a page and if you don't have an don't know what to write then just say it. what should i write about and you know what all of a sudden that inner wisdom will come up because you're so busy listening to inner critic which is so loud you can't hear your inner wisdom right that reminds me of um, when my clients say, I don't know why I have a session today. I have nothing to talk about. And I know a lot of people feel that way with their therapist, but they go and all of a sudden they go, what do you mean it's time to go? <laughs> it's exactly. like you have, your brain takes in 60,000 bits of information every single day. You think, and we, they, you think you only remember 10,000, but once you start to allow it to happen, it happens. There's a lot of information in there from feelings to goals to, to things you need to do. do this you family. know it. You know it. It goes on and on. Susan, 10 minutes. We don't want to bore everybody. I hope they got the gist of this. And one other thing, we are making a change. We are no longer going to be Thursday Thoughts at 3, part of our Marie kondo everything about us. We are going to be Coaches in cars or car coaches? Carpool coaches. We're going to be carpool coaching. Carpool coaching, yeah. Uh, the time doesn't seem to work for us, or it can't be Thursday thoughts at three, but we are carpool coaching. Um, and we're going to put out a poll. And we'd love to get your feedback on which time, days and times work best for you. We will throw a few out there that work for us. Please let us know what works for you because we would really miss you if we couldn't see you. Yeah. We actually yeah. had to do, a we had to pre-record this because we are not available this week at Thursday at three and the next few weeks as well. So we want to be there for you. So let us know. We'll put a poll out there. 
everybody. This is Jackie Atchison, an absolute pleasure. And I hope you can all come out with us and see the light of day and make those changes that just warm the insides of your heart. And I hope to want to be with you in the car soon enough. How about next time? Okay, yeah. that's good to me. <laughs> Got it. So again, Jackie Atchison, certified and Susan, coach and mediator at Better Path to Divorce. And Susan Greif, Ancestral Trauma Creative Transformational Expert at Artman's Hearts. Have a great weekend, everybody, and, and peace out. Peace out.